Good morning, guys. We are currently completely snowed in here in Minnesota. We all have a snow day today. Philip and the boys are home. I'm home. Everybody in the state is home. And I am packing for our trip to Hawaii, which is this Sunday. And I'm so excited about it. I feel like this storm is like the final hurrah of my patience with winter. I want to leave. So I've been packing. Almost packed all the boys. Pretty much packed all of them. The Stokey and then see this black and gray black and gray suitcase, the small ones. I fit all of Solomon's, all of Ruslan's, and all of Philip's clothes into these little ones. Like carry-ons. So this one, this one. And then this guy, the pink one, is gonna be a checked bag for me. Just for me because I want to have fun I want to like pack pretty dresses and stuff like that um, and I thought it would be fun to kind of film a pack with me it's something I would personally want to see and yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna film that I also ordered a few things from H&M and Karen Millen not necessarily for this trip but they came yesterday so I'm gonna go through that and if there's anything that would work for the trip I will of course bring I'll kind of integrate them into the pack with me portion also this is our bedroom i don't think i've ever showed it to you guys this part is somewhat decent but look at this do you see that art that's solomon see that art that is also solomon um done when we're not looking but whatever we haven't touched this room we're gonna remodel it so it's kind of unfortunate but it's fine anyway this is our room and this is where we'll be packing let's get started i'm thinking let's just get through the packages first go through those and then we'll just go through everything else i'm packing i think that would be easiest so let's start with karen millen would that be too dark how is that is there a difference okay let's open up karen millen first so i saw this dress it's their part of their new collection the spring 2020 23. came with the hanger and everything so I usually am pretty calm about purchasing certain things and I usually like think of my decision this when I saw it I just I've never seen a dress like this before ever it has a little bit of like a masculine style to it and I loved it I saw it in ivory but in ivory they only had like one size left and I was just wasn't sure if I would fit into it and then I saw that they have the same dress, but in like an auburn. And honestly, I feel like this could be even a little bit more wearable, you know? Fabric, fabric feels heavy in a good way. Like, it doesn't feel cheap. Hope it doesn't. Because this was pretty pricey. I'm trying to get this off. <sighs> this in a U.S. size 6. So I hope it's not too small. All right, guys, here it is. It's gorgeous. And this is this is the cool part right here. This little belt with detachable, like, detached pockets. It's almost like a deconstructed dress. And then you tighten this. Where are the little holes? And then voila. Also, sorry if I'm sniffling. It's just really freezing in this room. Look at how beautiful. Wow. And I love that it's actually floor length on me. Like, on me, it's floor length. I'm 5'9", 5'10". Gorgeous. Wow, 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 wee. So, I love it. I'm keeping it. I love the little lapels right here how it could be a long sleeve super wearable you can even wear this like as a duster if you unbutton all the buttons and then imagine like unbuttoning the bottom button just a little bit and then doing like a knee-high boot freaking out so cute i don't know if i would bring it to oh i have this sideways awesome I don't know if I would bring it to Hawaii. I think it's just a little bit too formal. 
but I will wear this to work all the time. All the time. So this is a keeper, just not Hawaii keeper. The dress I just had on before I put this on, I'm going to put that into the suitcase. I just put it on for the video because I didn't want to start off in the bathrobe. But that one is 100% going to Hawaii because it's so comfy. So comfy. Okay. What is next? Let's get our packing. This one that I had on, it's going to Hawaii. Thousand and ten percent. Okay, I remember I bought a swimsuit, top and bottom. I did like a long sleeve swimsuit haul on my TikTok because I wanted a long sleeve swimsuit and I lost mine. And I got three options from Amazon, and they were they were they were all really big on me, but I was kind of like willing to sacrifice this for, for the last one. And then people just humbled me in the comments, so I'm going to return all of them, but I did buy, these look awfully small. I did buy this swimsuit from H&M. I liked it, it's because it had a bandeau top. I usually hate bandeau tops because I feel like they're just slipping or they like kind of like drop you right here and you're just like... You know, but this one has a like lace up back, so you can make it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. Which I really like, but this looks so small, are you kidding me? I'll try things on. Should I do it as I go? That'd be smart. I'll try on a swimsuit, but let me unpack a dress so then I can put it right after, okay? Um, this dress. This is like my favorite pattern. As you could tell, like literally my entire bag <laughs> is this pattern, but I got this dress. It's giving me like Reformation vibes, and it was fairly affordable, and it looked like it was really good like quality. And these kind of dresses, I just love to wear like even around the house. They're so comfortable. Here it is. I got it in a size medium. Actually, like pretty similar to what I have on right now. Just buttons, like really beautiful, super light. This is what we're looking at. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. In that mirror over there, I hated it. Coming out here looking at the viewfinder. I mean, I like this color. Obviously, the bottoms are okay. It's just the top. Here is this pretty little dress. I like it. It's so comfortable. I would say probably just size down. This is a medium. I probably could have gotten a small because it's a little loose, but I take this off. But why I like these dresses when they have this kind of tie right here, if you undo it, you could add your own belt. And I think I actually bought a belt. You can like add these kind of belts and make it look a little bit more like elevated, you know? This is cute. I like this. Like Hawaii or not Hawaii, this is super pretty. I like it a lot. I'm gonna keep this both belt and so in the belt I got what size? I got a medium. Probably could have gotten a small, but Philip can drill a hole for me. I'm gonna bring that and I'm gonna bring this. So cute. It's good nightgown vibes, but yeah no. Okay. One more dress. Let's see. I got this because of the collar. I think that's so darling. I usually don't love cap sleeve things just because I feel like it makes me look broader, but we'll give this a shot. It's a bodycon. It's kind of like a ribbed material. So we're going to give this a shot. I got it in a size small. It's a ribbed material in this little number. It's really comfortable. Also, I'm like eating my words here. It does have a slit, but it's on the side. It's comfortable. You can wear, even wear these with like white tennis shoes for like a laid back look or like a hoodie over top, you know? I like it. And I like that it's not short. This is cute. Me gusta mucho. How about you? I think this is the last of the dresses that I bought. And then I think the rest is not super vacation-y, but I liked it. 
I bought it and I, I, cause I liked it. So we could try them. Or we could skip and just do vacation packing. What do you think? <laughs> so if you can answer, I'm literally just talking to myself. Let's just try everything on. Does that sound good to you? If you don't want to see the rest of this and you just want to see the packing portion, this is the time to skip to. Okay? Let's get this party going. I have a very good reason for buying this t-shirt. First of all, I don't have t-shirts. I usually just like don't like spending money on them, so I just wear Phillips. But this called my name. It says New York. I've been to New York. And it says 1997. That's the year I was born. So this shirt was technically made just for me. And I got it like super oversized. Let me put it on. We're doing lazy try-ons, okay? Just super baggy. This could even be kind of a serve. Um, yeah. Just kind of like a baggy tee. Airport, gym, anything. Feels cozy, doesn't feel like super thin and cheap. If you also love New York or are born in 1997, I'll link this down below for you. Let's do this shirt and these pants, okay? So these pants, honestly, I feel like jeans is one of like the hardest things to shop for, and I think immediately these are probably, well, actually, will this be short on me? We shall see. High waisted flare. Got these in a US 8. And I think maybe they're going to be too small. And then I got this shirt. I think it's so cute. I just don't know if I'm going to pull it off because, again, I don't like strapless. And this is like off the shoulder like this. I feel like the, I like the idea of it, but on me, this is probably going to be a terrible idea. Anyways, worth a shot. I'll be right back. If this isn't a lesson on, it's all about how you dress your body. First of all, these jeans are horrendous. They're like baggy right here. Super tight at my waist. I feel like this part right here is just too short for a torso. And then they get really skinny right here, like it hurts. And they're too short on me. And they're like bell bottoms. And if those are like higher than your ankle, they look so dumb. These are now, this shirt, it's actually like super comfortable. I kind of tucked in my bra straps. But again, like how would you wear this without a bra? Because it's thin. Like just pasties. I'm, that's just not for me. I feel like this makes me look just super broad. I really thought this was going to be a serve when I ordered this, like together, you know? But no, not on me. Maybe on you. Maybe on you. Maybe on you. You. It would look good. Not on me. I got this very balloony shirt. I just think it's going to be very big on me. I think. Watch well, it be like super tiny. And I shall be humbled. And then I got myself dress pants. I love dress pants. Usually get my dress pants from like other places like Naked, Mango, Theory, or Zara. H&M's are usually quite th thin. <laughs> Guys, these are terrible. Like, listen to the... So this is the elastic. This is supposed to be the elastic part, right? There's no stretch to it, first of all. So there's just gathering in the back of the pants. For no reason, because it's not. There's really no stretch to it. Seam work here. Not good. It's also completely unlined and see through it. And I'm pretty sure these are going to be too small on me. And too short. I honestly don't even want to try them. Alright you guys, this is where we're at. Horrendous. Um, they're very tight, again, super short right here. I guess for me, for a tall person. Also short, extremely short. 
and they feel like you're wearing like not good quality stuff. This top is okay. I just think maybe I should have gotten it in a bigger size. Um, it's very soft, very comfortable. I think I'm actually going to keep it. I like the colors on it. And to be honest, I usually don't, I don't know why, but whenever I shop, I don't like shopping for tops. And I end up having like no tops. But this one's actually cute. I could wear it with like a skirt, jeans, tons of stuff. And it's actually comfortable. And I actually think, I actually think I'll keep these size. It's like stretchier a little bit, but I would prefer that than for it to be like skin tight, you know? These are a no. They're awful. Here comes the sweater. And this sweater wasn't cheap, but I really liked the crochet look of it. And I think even like over a slip dress, this would be super pretty. Even with shorts, it's a little bit more wearable because it has like that crochet look. So there's a little, it's a little bit more airy. What it looks like. And it has like a cute little collar. The one thing is, these kind of shirts, if the sleeve is too short on me, it's like an ick. I want to get out of this. I'll be right back and then I'll try this on. So I have this like sweet little reformation dress. I really like it. It's like super buttery soft, has pockets, kind of like variable, very wearable neckline, and it's not like, it's not too short, but it's not like floor length. I'm going to pack this for Hawaii because it's just so comfortable. And I was thinking of something like this. Oh, not bad. It actually kind of long. For like, you know, a sunset, like imagine just sitting on the beach, like curled up with this and... Is that cute? I don't know. I can't see in the viewfinder. That's sweet. It almost reminds me of like it being kind of lacy, you know? And I actually like the collar and even like buttoned all the way up. That's kind of sweet. Okay, so this is coming. This is coming. Yeah. Overall, like a 50-50, I guess, success rate on the H&M haul. Good for my wallet, a little bit frustrating otherwise, um, but I'll be sure to get those out before we leave alongside all of my atrocious swimsuits. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna return that blue swimsuit. I'm just thinking about it, I'm like, if I had a choice to wear it or not to wear it, like if I were to go to the beach right now, I wouldn't want to put it on. I don't want to put it on something else, you yeah? know? Okay, this is going. I'm just putting everything into like a little pile. And then I'm going to go through it and then I'll fold it, actually. This I need to wash before we go. Let's knock out swimsuits, knock out dresses, and then shorts, skirts, and t-shirts. Let's do swimsuits first. My goal is to bring four swimsuits with me. From how things are going right now, we're just going to go through what I own now and pick through that. This is my swimsuit box. Let's go through it. This is like a t-shirt kind of swimsuit with, where are the bottoms? With these cute little bottoms. I like this. I wore this when I was pregnant and I felt fine. So I know I'm gonna like them. I don't know why, I just love swimsuits that have like a sleeve or like something up here. I don't like when this area is exposed. I feel like I have too much surface area and something needs to be covered hate this top, bought it, never wore it. Like these kind of swimsuits that have like extreme padding. Why? Tried to give it away multiple times to different people. Nobody wants it. Uh, this swimsuit, oh this one is a cutie. This was pretty baby stuff. <laughs> no way in heck. Is this ever going on my body again? I wore this in Jamaica and I actually wore it for our pregnancy reveal with Solomon. But the heedy beady cup, which is like this, ain't not nothing covering there, so that's that should probably go. Ooh, oh, okay. I don't know, like, what happened to me. I bought this one and I can't return it. I bought it like four weeks ago. I really like the bottoms on me. This is what it looks like with like that little. Very like Versace. I like the bottoms. The bottoms are kind of cool. The top, however, is a bandeau again. This one is much 
like there's much more here but there are no cups and there's no support whatever I'm bringing it, it's fine this is like my <laughs> also pregnancy swimsuit this is a swimsuit I wore to the gym when I was extremely pregnant with Ruslan to swim because I was in so much pain that could be given on to my friends who are not pregnant and suffering oh, this is my beloved reformation swimsuit that's what it looks like has a bandeau top this is probably the only bandeau top that I'm like I'm cool with because it's all smocked it's dope I like this one this is my honeymoon swimsuit I can't let go of it it just reminds me of our honeymoon it's like this kind of little top see the shoulder thing and then this itty bitty little bikini that ties like that this is so cute actually you know what I'm gonna bring it just because we honeymooned in Hawaii and like that'd be a cool thing to kind of put on again I don't know what the heck I bought this for wear this to the gym this thing is just very 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 high legged um yeah gym bottoms I need to give this away this one's such a cute swimsuit um honestly from like teenage years I think this is what is it Sperry but it has this like nautical feel to it I'm just a little too tall for it, so I think I might just give it to my cousin. It's super cute. Got my sarong. I should bring that. I don't know. I just have a thing for, like, cheetah print, I guess. <laughs> this is kind of what it looks like. And it just kind of, like, almost is like a little bicep cuff. It goes off the shoulder like this. I have a good selection here. Why did I need more? I'm going to leave our little freaking honeymoon swimsuit here just because... It's good memories. Not very good for my self-esteem. Welcome to my closet. I think one more dress. One more dress. Okay, runner up. Runner two. The dress Philip got for my birthday is by Farm Rio. It's super cute. It's like bright yellow. And then it ties into like a big bow in the back. It's fun. And this is one of my favorites also. It's like this open back. This one is just a little big on me. Yeah, it's by Free People. I should have gotten small in it. I don't know why I keep getting mediums. This is a really cute one too. I'm going to bring both. I'm going to bring both. This is my skirt section. Probably should bring a pack of shorts for hiking and things like that. If I was gonna go hiking right now, right now, what would I wear? Ooh, this scarf, 100%. This scarf, not necessarily for hiking, but like, I like to put it in my hair. Yes! Okay, hiking, shorts, black shorts. Would I hike in these? I would need shirts. I'm telling you, shirts are like my least favorite thing to pack. Oh, I just don't know. My shirt selection is very minimal. It's mostly sweaters. It's this side. Do you like our walkie-talkie speaker throughout the house? Very necessary. I am going to bring one cardigan because I like to cozy up on the beach. Which one? I feel like this one's more plain ride, this one is more cover up. This one reminds me of that little sweater I just bought, that cropped one. This one. We're gonna go with the cozy. Cozy schmozies, because I could wear that on the plane too. White linen t shirt, always, any trip. Okay, let's talk cozy wear. I actually invested in some pieces of cozy wear because I have never owned like a sweatsuit. I just wear dresses around the house. And then I bought stuff. And I can see why people wear it. Okay, we need like airplane stuff and then just cozy in hotel room stuff. So I have 
Oh, okay. Bought this dress specifically for this reason. It's like a stretchy dress, like a beach dress. So, for example, if we're like out swimming with the kids, I throw this over and then we could still walk around, like start taking a nap, and it's like a really easy dress. It's like um, specifically for being outside. It's like this. Just got it off Amazon. And I got my mother in law one. It's white for the trip too. We invited Philip's parents to come with us. They've always wanted to go to Hawaii, but they're a little intimidated to go by themselves. So we invited, we invited them along. Hi. Is it for me? Is it a flower? Yep. Thank you. It's beautiful. It's like a little sunflower. Yeah. I love it. I need to see. Do you want to be in the video? Yeah. This is Salamorsa. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. All right. Go. Cool. Bye. Have fun snowboarding. Thank you for the flower. All right. It's just like a long sleeve cotton t-shirt. It's super soft. I can even sleep with this. I can wear it on the plane too. Are you going to take my snowboarding? On the driveway, yeah. Fine. Have a great time. Bye guys. Have a good time. Have fun. I will. Okay. I'm just going to bring one pair of long black leggings to like even on the flight. Feel is the brand of these. I did a cover up, collaboration with them like six years ago. Still holding up so well, and they're one of my favorites. They like smooth you out like crazy. So I'm gonna pack these, and then I think I'm just gonna grab this skirt that I stole from my sister. I get more use out of it than her. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. It's almost like a little wrap. Has like a little ruffle. I wear this like with my swimsuit. So if we're just out swimming, swimsuit top, this kind of little bottom, so you don't feel like naked. I think this would be super cute with the black swimsuit and the blue t-shirt one. I think this would be so pretty. And is that all? How many dresses we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dresses. Should be covered. Jeans. Jean little shorties. I will pack a robe to be in the hotel room. <sighs> what else? Shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. What shoes should we do? I have my black sandals that I'm going to bring. They're like the slides. They're like dupes for the Dior ones. Um, I think mine are from Carl Lagerfer. Carl pretends to be a fashion girly. I'll link them down below. They're so comfortable. It has We're going to Honolulu and like Waikiki area, like downtown. Like it's pretty nice. It's like all paved. So I'm going to grab a pair of shoes Ooh, with my yellow dresses like these imagine like a bread sandal these they're not too high they're strappy this could be cute yes pack and then just my sandals and I'll wear my white tennis shoes on the flight guys I think we covered it I'm gonna fly in like my beige sweatsuit on the way there. On the way back, I'm going to fly in my leggings and my t-shirt and cardigan. Yes. So I just need to pack socks, underwear, bras, and then like skincare stuff. And first aid. I think that's it. I think that is it. Honestly, this is probably the most like productive packing series I have ever done. Because I usually just shove a bunch of crap into my suitcase, and then nothing matches. I either overpack or severely underpack. Right now, I think we're doing good because if I want to, you know, if we, if we go shopping, I still have room in my suitcase for more stuff. I'm so happy it's Thursday. We're leaving on Sunday, and kids are done. Philip is done. I'm almost done. The only thing I need to pack is like the snacks for the plane. Like that kind of stuff, like the day of, day before. We're doing good, good, good. I'll show you guys the pan of the room, what it looks like right now. And I think I'm just gonna pack everything into cubes. I'm not gonna keep you for it. I think we covered all the fun and exciting stuff. Dress one, two, three, four, five, six dresses. My scarf, um, beach dress, cardigan, white linen shirt, long sleeve. Skirt, yogas, shoes, 
swimsuits. And that's the one I was telling you guys about before. I'll link everything down below that is new. Or I still have a link to. But this is my suitcase. All this looks like it will fit. No problemo. This is Phillips. <laughs> this is the boys. I think the boys are Phillips. Just literally this is all they're packing. All they need. This is a room for electronics and diapers. Um, <sighs> need to download a bunch of movies for these kids. I slosh that headphones specifically for like babies because I remember flying with Solomon when he was his age and he would not keep the headphones on. Baby, can you open your jet stokey so we could see the headphones? So this is their cool cheese. This is what I bought for this trip. Wanted it for a while. We'll see if it's worth it. Either way, he plays with it every day. Can you hold the camera for me, please? Yep. This how it opens up on the flight. And then you prop it like this underneath the seat and then it turns into a bed because it has like mattresses in here. But I packed like kids' blankets, swaddles, this stuff. But this is the headphones I got for the Slasha. So they're basically like like a little like headband. And he wears these. We practiced. Yeah, boo baby. They told you about it, yeah. And then Solomon's like iPad and stuff like that. So we go in here. And then you're gonna ride it in the airport. Yeah. No, other way, remember? Ah. Other way. It's good. Bakashi, pick up your cheese. Ready? Go. Show me how you ride it. And like you could drag them. There's like a string, but he doesn't like the string. He likes to go by himself. Can you go fast? Yep. Sweet. Cool. That is so cool. Awesome. You put stickers on it too already? Um, yep. Made it your own? Right here. Right there. Cool, baby. Okay, guys. We are going to go finish packing. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to snowboard. And he's going to go snowboarding for the first time. Philip got him a little snowboard. Yep. And since we have a huge snowstorm right now, our entire driveway is like a hill. Yeah? You're going to have so much fun? You're going to be careful? Yeah, I'm going to have... High mountain, it goes slide the air, high, high, and foot, hey, uh, and it's dead. Have fun, be careful. Uh -huh. Alright, say bye. Bye. bye.